are you? I need that spanner. Uh, ah, there you are. Have you got my yeah. spanner? Uh, no, because the robot arm. Get you out. My robotic picking system. It's not responding. Oh no, I should have never touched it. I am so sorry. Can it be reprogrammed, Roland? Yes, but that's gonna take ages. I will never get all the toys into the delivery vans by the end of the day now. Oh, I've ruined Christmas. We'll figure something out. Come on, Robot Picker Arm, get to work! Hey, what if we all pretended to be the Robot Picker Arms? Maybe we could get all the gifts in the vans. That is a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. to be delivered. We did it, team! Yay! And I've managed to fix the picking system, too. Thank you so much, Bob. But, Roland, look. We've missed one of the gifts. Oh, someone's not going to get their Christmas present. Oh, yes, they are. Cos this is an early Christmas present from me to Neo. Oh, wow! Thanks! You can open it now. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it's the manual for the robots. Yeah, I've read it. I thought you might like to as well. What do you say, Leo? Uh, can I swap it for the reindeer? But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. <gasps> then what happens, Leo? I can see it on fire! Rumbled and grumbled in the darkness. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you, and a cry so terrifying that it could turn your hair white overnight. Put your lights on if you're scared. Ooh. Just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Shall I hold your hand, Leo?
on, everyone. Ain't stopping for nothing. Bob up. Oh, wake up! Oh. oh, now what? Wake up! Bob, we did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy! <gasps> We're really sorry, Dizzy. We didn't realise you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you okay, Dizzy? I'm fine, but he isn't. <laughs> I don't get it. The spider was supposed to... Oh! 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 This entrance is going to be cool. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! Oh, Wendy, your ghost is here. You need to mark me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It looks like a ghost! Sorry, Bob. I shouldn't have dropped the goose like that. Only I was scared. And now you've been really brave. I'm proud of you, Lofty. Thanks, Bob. Managed to trick me. Hey, what's happening? I'm stuck. Let's rumble. Are you 
okay, Leo? Uh, oh, yes, thanks, Wendy. I'm fine. But what about the skate bowl? Oh, no! It's ruined! And so's our video. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have gone into the bowl on my first day of skating. Wait a minute. This was your first day, Lightning, Leo? Oh, sort of. Maybe. Yes. Not to worry, Rockets. I think I know what we can do with that fresh load of cement. The wickedest thing on four wheels is definitely you. You should be in the video. <gasps> Are you serious? Thanks, Leo. <gasps> Ooh, maybe you could film it with your camera thingy. Done it without you, Dizzy. Or without Leo's extra camera work. Right, anyone up for some more skateboarding? Bring it! Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now! <laughs> Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I, um, uh... And they're in top gear! Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <laughs> grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. Huh? Well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing for it but hard graft and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Mug back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep. Hang on, Bob. Yeah? <laughs> no, Pilchard, it's not for you. Good night, Buck. Good night, Lord. Sleep tight. Make sure your brakes on right. <laughs> Giving up your bays for the night. You were right, Leo. Our machine bays are just like horse stables, just bigger. Yep, 
Three bays for three tired horses. Three buckets of oats and three buckets of water. Ah, I feel like a real cowboy now. Yeah. Look at us all sleeping under the stars. It's just like the Wild West. Well done, Cowboy Leo. You made that into a real Wild West roundup. <laughs> Magnificent miracle of mechanical on, engineering. What have you fancy little haggis and meats? Ooh, I feel sick. Ooh. Oh dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to the town hall. Ooh. This visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream. This reminds me of the time in Patagonia. Where's Bob? What's happening? What's going on here? Who is responsible for this disgraceful, this outrageous circus? I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock uppers! E excuse me. Rock up for penguins! Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? Yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Um, uh, well, I. Um... And you laid on this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for?
okay in this storm, Bob. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Where's Mr. Bentley? I'm still better, <coughs> Mr. Bentley. Ah, oh, yes. <coughs> Sorry, Philip. Everyone okay? Oh, no problem. I had a lovely nap. I've never felt so filthy in my entire life. We're fine, Bob. Right, let's have a look at these sand sculptures. <laughs> to finish off the sculptures. Just ten minutes. I'm sure about that. <gasps> what can we make in ten minutes? Um... Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. Oh, it was all my dad's idea. Well done. <sighs> Wonderful. Super. Never mind, it's the taking part that counts. Huh? <laughs> well, Wendy, I think we've finally found something we can't build. <clears throat> it's time to announce our worthy winners, Leo and Curtis! Huh? Yeah! yeah! Well done! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mayor Madison. Ooh. Come on, you can wash the sand off at the tap. No way! <gasps> I don't believe it. Tim can't take any more! Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Oops. The bear's arriving on the next plane. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Bob, where did the bear's habitat go? <sighs> Don't worry, Jenny. Just a little hiccup with the foundations. Bob will put it right. What happened, Scoop? I'm so sorry, Bob. I just wanted to give the big, fierce mountain bear a big, tall mountain to live on so that it would be happy. Sorry, Bob. I'm really sorry too, Bob. I should have known better. No, Lofty, I persuaded you to build it higher. I'm sorry, it really is all my fault. Jenny's in a panic. I hope you have a backup plan, Bob. I didn't design the mountain to be as tall as Scoop wanted, but I do like his idea. Brilliant! Yes, and? If we use shingle and concrete as the base, instead of shingle and soil, we could build four different levels instead of three. Can you fetch us some quick drying concrete, Tutan? I can bring some now, Bob, before I collect the bird. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome. And then we'll all have to work extra hard to get it finished. We will, Bob. Anything you say. We can count on ice. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can.
on. What's going on? Oh, I'm going to fall in. Help! It's okay, Lofty. You're not going to fall. Stay calm. Slowly drive forwards. Say. Uh -huh. Scoop, come forward really slowly so that your front bucket is below Lofty's hook. Uh huh. Lofty, let your hook drop so Scoop can carry it. Wendy, Leo, go with Scoop and attach Lofty's hook to the base of the spar. Wow. You'll be fine, Lofty. Ready, Bob? Okay. Stand back now. You're hooking really slowly. <laughs> That's it, you're doing fine. And now drive forward very gently. <laughs> yeah! Well done, Lofty. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry, Lofty. I shouldn't have been messing about by the river. I put Lofty in danger and we've lost part of the bridge. The race will be ruined now. Don't worry, Scoop. You helped put things right too. Did I? Yes. You said we should reel Lofty in like a fish and that's exactly what we did. Except Lofty hasn't got ugly teeth and spikes down his back. <laughs> we'll get the bridge finished in time if we all work together. Can we build it? Yes, we can! <laughs> Danger. All because I couldn't concentrate on one job at a time. You managed it in the end. And saved the train. But what are we going to do about the station and the track? There's just enough time before the train makes its first journey. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can.
ticket. Final round. Race to the far tree. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready? Steady? Go! What have you done this time? I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh, dear. The fun one starts in an hour. And we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Uh oh Oh, no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we draw on our best abilities. Lofty, I'll need your amazing weightlifting strength. Sure thing, Bob. And look. I'll need your powerful bucket. No sweat. What's wrong, Scoop? Oh, I messed up everything for Sky's fun run. And I wasn't very good at sports either. And Scoop? Yes, Bob? You're an all-round all-star. I'll need your speed, ability and digging power. Yes, Bob? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. The most important thing about a fun run is to have fun! And eat your broccoli. Go! to get some rest. Must get some sleep. Maybe I should try counting sheep. Oh, no, they're boring. I'll try tyres. One, two... What is that smell? Yikes! <laughs> oh, double yikes! A real emergency! Nearly there, Bob. We don't want all this lovely ice cream melting. Nearly there, Chef Tutty. <coughs> Bob, it's Scoop. It's an emergency. Another one, Scoop. Did you get some rest? No, but there's a fire, Bob. A fire in the yard. Look, Scoop, you need to get rest. Otherwise, you're going to keep on exaggerating these small problems. But Bob! Rest, Scoop. Over and out. Ah! You have to save the yard. But what do I do? I can pick it up because I'm made of metal. So, if Bob won't come to the fire, I'll have to take the fire to Bob. Now I have to put it out. You've got some amazing types of ice cream here, Chef Tete. Thank you. I invented them myself. Do people prefer the pizza flavour to the sardine and spinach flavour? We'll never know, Lofty, if we don't get them in the freezer soon. They'll melt. OK, try not to panic, Scoop. Drop it onto the sand. This is a real, real emergency! But I must put the fire out! Oh, the sea's too far away! Oh, I've got it! Great idea, Scoop! Quick mug, coffee scoop! We'll go, Bob! Well 
done for putting the fire out, Scoop. But you should never pick something up that's on fire. I know, Bob, but I was so tired and confused. Still, I should have listened to you when you said it was an emergency. Yeah, but I should never have exaggerated so much. I'll never, ever, ever exaggerate again in my whole life, ever. <laughs> What's done is done. You saved the yard, and luckily, only the roof's ruined. What about the ice cream? In half an hour, it'll be completely melted. Half an hour, you say? We can do that. So you can fix this? Yes, we can! have a problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute, otherwise she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty. Let's get over to Mission Control. Breaking another record, May. Could you build a rocket so I can be the first crane into outer space? <gasps> Lofty. The space crane. Interesting proposal. Let's see. Yes, I could. <gasps> Take us up, Lofty. We did it! <laughs> it's not over yet, Lofty. We need to hurry and get the park finished. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
Mayor Madison, we're almost ready for your visit to Dino Park. Excellent, Bob. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. As am I. The beasts of the Cretaceous era are a special interest of mine. Especially our prized Triceratops. The Riverdale models don't move, you know. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten something. Just wait two minutes. Okay, guys, we're done. Not quite. Huh? Huh? Why is it not making any noise? The fool must have broken its roar. And the mayor is here. There's no time to fix it. Wait! I know someone who can make a good roaring noise. Who's it then? Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Bob. I'm just glad you've finished the park in good time. Shall we? Oh, oh very impressive. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic! <gasps> Ooh. Isn't it meant to make a sound? Ooh. Yes, well, I'm not certain Triceratops would have sounded like that. It sounded very realistic to me. <laughs> what not we to be a dinosaur? Hmm. Where did Scoop and Lofty go? <laughs> Are you scared? Uh, maybe just a little? I wasn't. I was, uh, helping Lofty. Uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Chains? That's because his tracks give him extra grip. Sorry, Scoop. Oh, I would have been brilliant at snowboarding too. Okay, Lofty, lift the crossbeam onto me and I'll secure it to the support tower. Snowboarders like to take the first ride. Yes, please. Thanks, Maybe I could have a really quick go on the snow while no one's watching. Wow, what an amazing view. I can see my house from here. <laughs> Hiya, Teen Bob! Look at me, everyone! This is Doctor Manhattan! And it is extreme, extremely dangerous! Are you okay up there? <laughs> We're fine, Bob. This is awesome. Hold on tight. I'm going to have. <laughs> 